the cat. The strength is a five. I'm okay with that. The dexterity is the 16 I used. Mm -hmm. uh, I switched the constitution, so it's 10, so it's a zero mm -hmm. modifier. Intel uh, intelligence is 11, wisdom is 13, and then the charisma is that other five. All right, so low charisma. Yeah. Oh, so you're, going, you're going rogue then instead of bard? No, still bard. He still wants that uh, inspiration and the uh, song of rest. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the high decks, and I'll have a jack of all trades on her. So, like, we're, we're using her for the skill checks. And, uh, and we use her more for charisma because of the, the bonuses she has. But the bonuses are for, like, casting spells and stuff, and she's not going to use any of those, because it's the spells they take, there's like, there's some healing spells. But those don't require modifiers, I mean. Yeah. Right. And the only other spells are like attack spells and stuff, which she can't use. Like, well, yes, that, makes, can. that makes sense. Just go ahead and stick to the spells that don't uh, require a DC modifier. Yeah. yeah, or like a saving throw or anything. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, it's going to limit her, but then again, this is an NPC. This, this character should have a little bit of limit. And I had I, and I rolled terrible. I really did. That sixteen was the only really good one. And I got two fives. I have two negative threes on this. This is terrible. Yeah, this, this character would almost be unplayable otherwise. Yeah. I'm, uh, could I have gone with like the default numbers? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, so dex. So I'm prof She's proficient with dexterity and charisma. Doing it option would have been I would have rolled it and then not told you there was an option to roll it. Yeah. And this this is still a possibility that your stats could have been worse than that. Okay. So uh, I'm assuming no equipment or anything. Um, you actually, uh, unfortunately, no. You can't give her equipment, can you? See. No, but like starting equipment. I assume I could give her stuff. Yeah, she doesn't start with equipment. You can give her stuff, but yeah, you should be aware that she has low strength. She has to at least be able to carry her armor. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be. Oh, tough. I, I I don't think armor armor is going to work, but uh, lock picks are definitely something you want to get in there. So yeah, you know. like a lock pick set. And yeah, stuff. if only someone just didn't like say they didn't want to buy a lock picking set to an old man who walked by. Yeah, who specifically mentioned it? I was gonna say something, but my character was asleep. Yep, my character was asleep too. And my and if anyone noticed, there is a small cat. Sleeping next to me. And what now, are we calling the cat? Um, uh, I was thinking of calling her Nori. Aww. Yeah. Okay, so we got Bob, Tim Solo's sister, uh, Nori, and of course, the, if this dwarf. the dwarf and his cat. He's not even a dwarf. And the cat. Wait, is the other cat still with us? I thought yeah. she left. He has a cat, doesn't he? No, no, not the tiger. He had a cat. Oh yeah, I thought was, I was thinking the tiger. Yeah. So at I'm, one, so there was, you know, throughout the time, there's been three cats in this party, felines anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We're cat people, obviously. We're not dog people. Apparently not. Dog. I have a dog. <laughs> like, not to not to mention the fact that, as far as I'm aware, we now have another rage creature that's going to slowly. Well, no, she jammed. She jammed, so, so she's out. Yeah, she's not going to be chasing us around anymore. Oh, God. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Sorry, man. These rage creatures are meant to be, like, tough fights. And you're doing pretty well against them. Hmm. Mainly, if she actually succeeded in touching someone, that would be a different story. But that yeah. was that was a lot of damage swinging. Uh, 845 years old. <laughs> can't, can't forget that. Well, in cat years, you know. What happened? <laughs> Did I become an undead or something? Um, you really wanna? Yeah. Um, the only way you were gonna be able to heal was to ye to touch someone, and that would deal the same damage you took to them and it. heal you. But then you would be cursed as essentially being undead. You were essentially a vampire at that point, man. You yeah, have to like gain hit points by touching people or absorbing their energy from them. Now, it's not a threat or anything, but if Gideon would have seen you do, oh. do that and realized what 
you were doing, I would have destroyed you outright. Yeah, because he, he literally became an undead vampire at that point. He may not be able to, he may not be drinking people's blood, but when you literally absorb someone's life by touching them. And uh, a thing that didn't really come up is that the person you touch, uh, they have to make a con save or lose their max hit points. You know, temporarily, but still. Okay, so are we all up? You are all up at this point. You Did literally you all woke up. You, know, you still got your rest, but all woke up as apparently a circus just happened to go past heading towards forget. Okay, so we are riding hard to forget, nonstop until we get there. Yep. Um, Rook, is that your cat, I saw? Uh, yeah, uh, the first one was height modifier, and the second one is weight. Um, I was hoping you were rolling for it. It's, uh, like it's health, man. Oh, no, it's, uh, well, I just, I'm doing level one right now. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and give, uh, Ryan some time to do this. So it's ten uh, foot tall? No, no, no. Uh, it's five feet. Five feet tall? Okay, so uh, half. Its, its base feet is like four two, and then yeah. roll a d10 for like height. Uh, okay. So it's like, I assume that's just how many more inches. Okay. Yeah, that and, makes sense. Yeah. Hey, Jack. Uh, it, uh, now, unless there's okay. certain portions that you don't want us to know about, can you just make it to where we can see each other's files? Um, I don't mind if you guys are okay with that. Yeah, sure. What? The bio and info page. All right, sure. We just want to, We won't be able to see your character page itself, just the bio. All right. If I remember correctly, all to do is make it so that the character shows up in each other's journals, correct? Yeah, because like I can see Nori if I wanted to right now. So, I was just just made me think of it. Well, my oh, I have to ask the dwarf when he gets here. But uh, everyone else is okay with that. I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I have more questions. Uh, will this cat have, uh, like, dark vision or any of that? Uh, dark vision, yes. Okay, dark vision and the languages included with uh, its race? Um, no, it's not actually of that race, it just has the physical form of things. Okay, so it just knows common and celestial? And it's also telepathic. Okay. Only for you. But telepathic, yes. And uh, you know what? It actually, does not know plus you. Okay. The okay. Spir the spirit the uh, spiritual plane doesn't inherently mean knows like that language. Uh, so just common and telepathic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, telepathic thirty feet. If you want to include that. Yes, I would. And once it uh, has. The beast bond you'll be able to tap, you'll be able to see through sensors and blah blah blah. Like that. So after you could talk to the party members if it chose to, or if you wanted it to, or gave it an order to. So long as within well, thirty feet. Well, to me, it looks like a person. To you, it's a person. Everyone else sees it just as a cat. Yeah. So I'm gonna wake up, and there's gonna be a cat person sleeping next to me. Yes. It's just cat person attractive or normal. Uh, <laughs> she's I pretty mean, old. <laughs> she's pretty old, but she's also like a spirit. So she could literally look what color she wanted. Uh, I I made her orange, just because. An orange tabby. There you go. Yeah, like a like a Garfield kind of a thing. With orange eyes. <laughs> it's, oh, sorry, it's blue eyes. It's female Garfield. It's it's she could be really fat. <laughs> just <laughs> eats all the lasagna. Okay, um, I don't want to roll for attractiveness. So let's just say she looks normal. Yeah, you don't have to roll. It's it, okay. rolling for attractiveness does give you some benefits uh, when you know you roll for when you do stuff like that. But otherwise, it's your choice to make it to make that roll. Considering her charisma is pretty low, I wouldn't roll it myself either. It's <laughs> like <laughs> so even if, if you if you had like a plus one charisma, a D ten plus one is still at least a two. You know. When you have a negative, <laughs> the best I could do is a seven. seven. Uh, I could roll a one, and she could be a negative two. You know, it, it could just horrifying. be a cranky cat, though, that you know hisses at people when they walk by, and that could reflect the charisma. 
So I'm going to wake up in my bedroll, mm-hmm. and there's this cat. Of what I see is this cat person curled up next to me. Everyone else sees just this orange little kitty. <coughs> How would Rook do this? I don't know. Well, man. he also kind of explained it that we've had these things for a while. I I went ahead and taken it for granted that my item is attuned to me. Like I think what we could say is that you had this cat for a while, okay. but this is the first time. Like it, it, it just leveled up, so this is the first time you see it as not a cat anymore. That'd be even worse, because then I'd wake up and be like, where's my cat? And then you, like, maybe this thing has, like, a collar around its neck. And it's, this person's wearing it. This is literally, like, that one of those, like, animes where, like, you bring a cat home, and what? then now it's a cat person. <laughs> Wilfred. It's Wilfred. No. It, it, uh... Good luck with that, man. Your character just woke up and now your cat's missing. Your cat's missing, and there's this person. My cat wore a bandana. <laughs> Alright. Oh, God. I have no idea how to roleplay this. <laughs> it's, it's all you, man. Everyone else sees your cat laying there, so they're not even going to react to this. Uh, everyone else is awake? Everyone's awake. Everyone, you know he's had a cat for a while. We're going to go with that. This is just the first time yeah. you've seen it as not a cat. All of you, does it, you can sit back and watch him freak out if you want. Uh, yeah, I jump out of my bedroll and just like kind of looks and I'm looking stunned at the cat currently. To everyone, I just kind of like holy crap! St- like up on my feet right away. Who's that? That's your cat. That's Mr. Schnuffles. <laughs> My cat's name is Neko. Neko? Okay, that's Neko. What's the issue here? You act I, like you um, see the, per- cat the person you see stirs slightly when you say its name and looks at you, and then sees it curl back up. Is there something wrong? It's... You, you do, you, we, uh, yes. <laughs> What's wrong with the you cat? Don't... Where is my cat? <laughs> there, as I point towards the cat. Um, as, as this is all going on, and it finally wakes up, it stretches and starts to move around the campsite, looking for food, I guess. So I see the person on all fours. You see the person just stand up on two feet and walk around. Okay. It's like, it's doing, so it's walking, at, like, I'm like from your perspective, it's level. walking and acting like a normal person, but from their perspective, it's a cat doing whatever. So I'm pointing at, like, head level, at above where the cat is. Yes. You don't see this person. No, it's a cat down there. Okay, now we're all, we're all Did looking... Did you that book? <laughs> yeah, we're all no. looking... Like Hank was looking at me when I told him everything was gonna burn. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, exactly, dude. Your cat is right there. As a matter of fact, I will make a point of going over and giving Neko a little scratch behind the ears. Neko will be Neko used, will to, be attention. used to attention. Um, what all you're seeing, Rook, is. Him walking up and scratching Neko's tail. Like the the humanoid tail? Oh come on, dude! Don't be sick. No, but like, to me, it, it's a f- <laughs> standing full right up, and you're like bending down, like scratching its foot or something. Like tail, tail. Okay. Up, like you know, just in that position. Not yet, just the tail. Like the, the end tip of the tail, probably. The cat turns around and looks at you. As a matter of fact, being a nature cleric, I'm probably I'm probably quite fine. Fond of oh that. yeah, you you be you be Neko will be quite used to you. Yeah, I'd be quite fond of it. Come here, kitty. It's it's walking over there to you. Uh, 
How tall I'm are you the... relative to her? She's five foot. You're how, old? how tall? Uh, I'm like s seven two. All right. Yeah, it's still looking at looking at you. Um, at this point, uh, Tim Sola's sister wakes up. Like, what's going on? Why is he screaming? <laughs> I don't know. He says there's a person and he's pointing at his cat. Go back to sleep. She she no, curls we... up back into the, she crawls into the cart because she's small. Oh, we need to go. It's already just, in the morning. Just already track, just track the cart. Yeah, we got haul. Yeah, yeah, we got to haul ass. Well, technically, she can just be in the cart. You know, you can haul it anyway. So she's crawling in there. You have to work out. Right, All right, truck. Should we go? Uh. Okay. Only because this new person here is same colors and same eye colors and everything as my cat. And answered. Sure. Let's, I'm, let's go with an inside I'm, check. I'm, I'm, yeah. You're, you're looking, looking into the eyes. Roll an inside check. Ins you know, the eyes, the, the window to the soul. Watch you fail, man. Duh. You critically failed. <laughs> critically failed. You, you don't notice this at all. What the hell? Are you about to kill your own cat? Dude, Bob, even you if do? you had an advantage, you would have failed. Bob, what would you do? Bob wakes up and says, oh, What do you want? What did you do to my cat? Bob puts you to sleep. Rook just falls over asleep. Rook goes to sleep. And then when Bob says that he's asleep, just wake him up. And he goes back into the bag. Alright, uh... So we got we a character we have to tie um, As far as... You know what? In a way, Rook, you just realize that even Bob can't see her. Fuck! I'm gonna slap Rook to wake him up. Wake up! <laughs> You take one damage. Okay, I take one damage. What is wrong with you, Rock? Get your mind on the That's... game, boy. We gotta run. Everything's gonna burn here tomorrow. We need to be gone. It is currently. I, I get 8 my heart sinks, and I'm really worried for Neko. It's 8 p.m. We got less than ten. We got less than ten hours before the before everything burns. We gotta go. Okay. And we're traveling at night, which means we're probably gonna have uh, more more chances of running into in, in, into bad guys. I said eight a.m. not p.m. Oh, a.m. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah, it's got quite a while. You can still make it to forget, but it'll be in forget that you see the fire. Yeah, we got a haul. So I'm I'm for now I'm going to ignore Ruck and his crazy cat in, in his crazy cat and imagination and yeah, start looking yeah, up. You know what? It would yep. be more more funny if this entire time Ruck's been had had this cat and you guys still can't even see a cat at all. Like this is the first time a cat spawns into your vision. <laughs> oh, we could have done it that way. That would have been better, probably. All right. So moving along. You guys pack up and begin leaving. I need someone to hopefully succeed in their survival check. Um, well, we're following the road, aren't we? All right, good point. Even still, even still. All right, I'll roll um, the. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say you have advantage. So you, there's a very low chance of failing, but go for it. Twenty-three. You will make it fine. So you are you're hoofing it. You're going as fast as you can. You're going to keep going. You can keep going through the night to arrive. I forget. So here we go. You got your normal rolls, and then you got your increased rolls for the last part. And one more. Okay. So, so I'm so gonna look at the person, the 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 cat person in the eyes, and say, "If you're Neko, give me a sign." It, Nori. It looks around. Because Nori is name, not Neko. Nori is its name. If yeah. you are Nori, give me a sign. It looks, it looks around for a moment, like wondering, like, this is really the first time you've actually spoke Talk to it in to a it. sense of like actually wanting a, like an answer to come back to you. Yeah. It uh, it asks, can can you see me? 
Why can no one else? Uh, she looks around. She says, I don't know, actually. And then proceeds to slowly raise her finger closer to, to your face. Slowly like she's going to poke you. I'm, I'm just like watching it going cross-eyed as it gets closer to me. She like pokes you. It's like she, at this point, she clearly you can tell that you're looking at her because you're literally looking at her finger as it gets closer to you. You know. Yes. Have you always been like this? She nods. Everyone else just sees me having a conversation with my cat. <laughs> Not even your cat. You're looking above the cat. The cat's I'm looking, looking above the cat. Guys, he's, so this he's is this is a, insane. This is this is telecommunicative, right? Yeah, everything she's yeah. saying is being heard telepathically. It, even though her mouth is moving, it's just telepathic all the way through. Okay. She can technically speak if you want her to, but yeah, then everyone would see or would hear her. Alright, so you guys travel all, travel throughout the entire length of time. Un my jaw's and open and looking at the back of my horse where, where Nori is. You, you leave her on the back of a horse and not like in a bag or something to keep her from falling. Well, oh yeah, we're going fast. So yeah, she, she'd normally be uh, in my bag. You know what, I am, I'm fine with but, that image. You just, you know, slightly more feminize it, but there you go. There you go. Um, unless, Ryan, you want to find a specific image for Nori. I know. Uh, I, I like that one. All right. Uh, since you can edit that character, you should be able to use that to stick it under the bio info page. Yes. All right. I just need to save it. So she starts to converse with you. Immediately, none of the details seem to matter too much. She's mostly just talking about like how she prefers beef, not fish or chicken. Blah blah, like general like life stuff. Okay. And it's it's more that everyone's hearing you talk to no one, and it's yeah it's starting to get a little creepy, man. I I'm not even paying attention to them right now. I'm too engulfed with trying to talk with Nori. So, Dink Horatio, what's what's going through your mind? You're literally watching a person slowly fall into madness, apparently. I'm just I'm pretty much figuring it's par for the course here lately. I just want to I just want to get to forget. I'm still cool. <laughs> Damn it, from touching that thing. It's so Maybe. convenient, guys. Mm. Like, I need to sleep. <laughs> Alright. So, as you guys travel along the road, eventually you come across an old man lying face down along the road. At this point, the sun has begun to set already. It's late, it's dark. Uh, you guys are almost 200 feet away, but you can clearly see him. He's just the only thing on the street, you know? Gideon yeah. would be... Yeah, Gideon would be fired up to help. Everyone else? Uh, uh, Rook too. Yeah, I'll pull. Alright. Uh, as you pull up along the guy, he seems to be bleeding out. Oh, uh, spare the dying, immediately. You hop, you hop off your horse and walk over and begin to heal him. Um, you as you grab a hold of him, you see the wounds on his chest begin to close from your uh, from your magic. Uh, this old man with gi uh, ginger beard, the rest of his hair is all gray. Um, is you assume he's some sort of aged adventurer? He's still unconscious, and you take a look around. You see like bloody footprints walking away from his from his location. They look dry and stale, but. No other signs of like life around here. Uh, from the marks on the chest, you think like a, either a short sword or a dagger was stabbed into him along the chest. Um, I stand uh, like firmly nearby and start just peering around, see if I can see uh, anyone else nearby. All right. Well, you're inside. You I mean, your perception check. Perception, right? Yes. He is not conscious, and a seven is not going to succeed. No. Um, 
it's you you take a look around. If only you had uh, Nori come help you. <laughs> well, I don't know she can yet, so I'm kind of <laughs> still... Alright. Uh, you take a look around. On the 7, you really just see what I've already told you. There's some blade footprints. Uh, whoever it was was slightly of a larger build. His foot's a little, he, a little big. But, but there's always a possibility that he just has big feet. Can I roll sur survival on those footsteps? Go ahead. I don't know where they headed. Go for it. Um, on a 12, you look around, it's a little obscured by the, you know, the animal tracks from the circus that went by earlier. Um, but as you take a better look around, you can see the, the bloody footprints are actually headed south into the sleep, uh, the sleeping woods. Seems to go that way. Uh, Rock, keep an eye on that, that side of the forest. Uh, we'll do. Like, point towards it. Okay, let's get him in the cart, and we're gonna try and get him to some type of civilization. Alright, alright. You pick him up, and you pick him in the cart. At this point, what is her name again? What, uh, takes notice of this. She's uh, Lila? Lila. Oh, Takes a better look at this person and examines them. Um, she quickly fails and has no idea what's going on with this dude. Okay. Has no ability to heal him either, so that's not going to help. Oh, she's a perfect group angel. She's she's in the cart. <laughs> yes. Um, she's she attempted to do a medicine check, but didn't succeed in any way. Um, he doesn't seem to be bleeding out. He's not going to lose any additional hit points, but uh. The fact that he's just le left there bleeding out, you know, that's gonna be pr that's pretty harsh, an old guy. Yeah, let's just assume right away he was uh, mugged. All right, you guys eventually will make your way into this uh, small town of Forget. All right, let me see if we can find a good map just to throw up. It's a little better understanding of. You know, your surroundings and whatnot. Okay. But it's a small little coastal village. And let's see. What do I have in the form of a small coastal village? Uh, uh, this will actually work. Um, the image I'm throwing up has a river and a southern area across the river, but that's not going to be included here. So let's see if we can get this up. What is going on? Create new page. Page is up. Transfer player to blank page and update. Okay, can you guys see anything yet? Uh, I just see white. the white. Hmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, we're gonna have to do without a map, guys. Sorry. No problem. So, let me see if I can drop it drop it so you can see in Skype, at least. There you go. So, you know, this is along the port. There is clearly no you know, other side of the river there. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, considering it looks like. Oh, okay, so I think we're gonna cut the stream and we're just gonna leave it off for today. So if okay. you're watching, thanks, but I think that's gonna be it for now. Everyone say goodbye. Goodbye! Bye! -bye.